Hello everyone, my name is Chris and welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna teach you how to make a hair model, female body model, and hand wrist model. So anyway, let's get right into it. First of all, you need to open model bench, create a new model, go to add part, click the add part, then you add part to head, click the add block, import skin, go to the elements, click the new shape, go to appearance, go to materials, Click the inherit texture, click the Steve, edit the skin in the texture editor, arrange the head using pivot offset. Then after that, click the head in the elements, click the add part to hair. Click the add part again, rename the part to front hair. Click add part again, rename the new part to F1. Click the move tool, make sure that you're gonna move it right here in the front, the exact position of this, like this. After that, add 3D plane. Go to the transform, scale it to 0.25 or or 0.5. It depends on you if how how 3D that you want to be in your hair. Go to material, click the inherit texture to Steve. Go to the texture editor and select the skin and select the hair that you want to be bendable and 3D. Click the pivot tool, bring it down, click the F1, click the bend, turn XYZ. Go to the part, click the upper to lower, click the click the custom bend size, make it 80, go to the pivot tool again, click the new shape, go to the pivot offset and arrange this little thing, make it zero. Then after that, you're gonna duplicate this F1 to 8. Press F1 here in the corner, like this, you need to arrange it. After that, Click the second texture, move it here. You just need to rearrange the texture like one by one. So yeah. Then after that, rearrange it again. Make it make sure that the pivot is on the top. I mean like this. There you go. And it's, it's done. That's how you make a 3D and bendable hair. Just click the hide shape and click all of the F1 that you made. And go to the bend tool turn off the snapping tool and there you have it you have a bendable hair now hey that's nice like that so that's how you make a bendable 3d hair on to the next one all right the next one is the female body okay first of all you need to you need to import alex skin or any female skin i don't i'm not gonna use steve he's a male I'm going to the model bench and get and get the Alex skin. After importing Alex, delete Steve. Now we have Alex. Now go to add part, click it, rename it to female body or body. The next one, go to the add block, go to the new shape, go to the material texture, click Alex, move it to the female body right here. Then go to the beaver tool again, bring it down, turn on snapping, bring it down. Then after that, click the body again, click the add block. Then after that, then after that, you're gonna save it so we can edit the texture real time. So um, let's make a new folder here, random folder. Blah, 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 blah. Then after that, open the folder and file name to Alex body and save. Then go to the model location, click the open folder, right click the Alex, open with paint.net or any editing photo software that you're using you can use any photo editor like photoshop and paint.net so i recommend paint.net for beginners then after that go to the alex texture make sure that you're gonna rid of this side of the alex this body side like that then after that you're gonna move it here like this then after that control save then i'll press ok then go to the model bench again Click the body, click the new shape, right click the right click the Alex skin, refresh the texture. So as you can see, the texture has not saved yet, I think. So we go to the paint that again and control save. Go to the bottom edge again, and there you go. It's automatically reloaded. So we're gonna just move this thing like this, and there you have it. You have a slim, normal female body. Then after that, you're gonna go click the body again, click the add block, click, the, go to the material, go to the texture, click the Alex again. And as you can see here, I'm gonna move it here in the bottom. So I'm gonna go focus on the bottom model first, like this. 
then bring it down and there then you're gonna use the pivot tool also always use pivot tool when you're gonna move the object inside of the folder that you're gonna bend so you're gonna uh, go here move it here duplicate ctrl d go to the other side go to the texture go to the other side too and there you go okay so here's the hard part this is the actual model i mean this is the hardest modeling in the body i actually do this like this ctrl d edit texture in the top and you're just gonna rotate it not moving it i'm gonna disable the snapping tool like this just gonna hardly use the pivot offset and you're just gonna scale it that's how i make the female body model i'm gonna show you the example of it there you go as you can see I already made my own female body template so this is the version one that i made like it's a normal female skin let's see it like uh let's insert the texture to alex like it's actually complete like there's a pattern of it like here there like it's a custom pattern and the other one is the version 2 of my female body model so like import the alex of course that's actually broken but still the same like there's a pattern on it so that's how i make the female body model as you can see let's see the bending the z is okay like it's actually moving but it's kind of destroy when you see it but it's that i'm not gonna like it's, i'm not gonna actually using this bend like this it's just gonna normal like this yeah so it's not gonna see by the you know by you the watcher and the y-axis of course limited like this i only bend the female model like this so it's not gonna be tried and to the x well it's pretty normal of course like it's okay to be like that but not like this yeah that's kind of curse but it's fine to bend like you know near at the zero yeah that's how i make a female body model you're just gonna go manually rotate it like it depends on you how slim is the model okay to the next one okay so the last part is how to make a hand or wrist model so first of all you need to rename the model of course it's still the same the alex and just delete the, the stuff go to the model name name it wrist because this is gonna be the main folder of it then go to the elements go to the add part rename, rename this part to hands then after that add part again name it two fingers and you can open parenthesis open so you're not gonna be you know then control save of course always control saving to save some stuff so whenever you're gonna go get granite or something like that your project's still safe okay so go to the hand folder import the add block go to the architecture add texture go to the desktop go to the steve png control save also before you're creating a hands or wrist model open the model location first right click the steve again open and open paint.net so first of all you need to get the one one color only so this thing is only gonna work on the one color finger if you are gonna make it easier but if you wanna like like the actual finger steve well you're gonna do some some stuff and work or hard stuff anyway after that select this part ctrl c ctrl v then move it here then you're gonna duplicate this bottom here so it's like two four six eight eight pixel let's add more pixel nine and this is the finger that's gonna be a wrist finger also here in the arm model you're gonna delete four pixel because this is gonna be the finger also this part you're gonna make it same color so yeah control c, 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 and go to the model bench okay so you already selected a new shape go to the material inherit texture to steve and after that and move it like here and you're gonna select only three pixel the height also top bottom still there but the height model needs to make sure it's three three pixel and after that click the pivot tool move it here also don't forget to turn on the enable tool snapping here maybe here yeah we're gonna make a space for the finger then after that go to the finger folder open oh oh wait i forgot make sure that the hand folder hands make sure that the move to is in the middle then the finger open make sure it's on the middle too so the new shape it's gonna be here in the bottom because this is gonna be the actual part or the main point of the finger i don't know i, I don't understand but i don't know how to explain but yeah just just watch just watch it click fingers then add block click fingers then add part and let's rename it to finger one gonna rename it to finger one 
Then after that, click the add 3D play. Then after that, click the add block. Also, don't forget to click the finger open. Go to the material, inherit a texture to Steve. Then go to the finger, new shape, inherit a texture, and go to the texture editor move it right here one pixel only since you know our minecraft finger model is only one pixel like that you're gonna use the pivot offset here you're gonna move it here in the bottom yeah in the bottom make sure it's right there in the zero then after that no no right there in the negative one then after that i click the finger number one click the pivot after that click the finger click the move tool make sure you're gonna move this thing here in the corner of your wrist and after that you're gonna move it here in the bottom uh, inside of the finger then after that you're gonna click the finger number one enable x and z only then click the part to lower then custom bend size then bend the z a little like that then go to the joint offset move it right here in the 0 0.2 maybe in the 0 0.9 no, no, number one then after that control d the finger number one move it here in the finger number one then reanimate to f1 then after that as you can see it's kind of destroyed so we're gonna move it reset the position like that disable the xc and make it default again then you gonna click the new model and click the pivot offset here in the bottom after that click the finger again go to the move finger then after that go to the finger make it default again like this then after that control save go to the f1 again and turn on the xz again then you're gonna bend it first but as you can see it's kind of destroyed so you're gonna move the offset again like this 0.5 then after that you're gonna bend it like that then you're gonna disable the x so it's gonna be sharp corner so only z in this f1 then after that click the add part inside of the f1 click rename it to f1 again move it right here then add another block so in this part you're gonna add a two pixel like it's a long now like this then after that you're gonna click the pivot tool again you're gonna move it again here like that and click the f1 click the z and bend it click the part again to lower bend the z then edit the joint offset in the middle like that negative one and there you have it that's that's a finger now as you can see it's a bendable finger like this as you can see yeah it's actually working like that see i'm just gonna edit it like this one again in the middle and the lower f1 yeah that's how you make a finger model now we're gonna complete this finger by duplicating it it's time to speed this thing also about this thumb part as you can see it's actually this is not the actual thumb like the thumb is only one pixel like this part in the bottom of this f1 of the f1 to make it thumb click the f1 the bottom of this thumb then bend it like this then go to the new shape inside of the f1 then make it one pixel then after that click the f1 folder again modify the joint offset like that 0 0.5 then go to the pivot tool and go to the new shape click the pivot tool move it here and there you go it's done click the f1 again and yep that's the thumb and that's how i make the finger now for the wrist it's simple just click the hand folder enable x y and z go to the part make it lower custom bend size enable the custom bend size and after that you're gonna bend the y axis note this is important make sure that you're gonna bend the y axis only so like that you're gonna bend like that as you can see it's kind of broken so we need to edit the joint offset like this uh, here the size make it three now disable the enable snapping as you can see it's still broken so we need to modify it okay as you can see that's the corner over there so we're gonna custom bend size to one we're gonna modify this first okay so move the joint offset here in the 0 0.0.1 negative 0 0.1 or 0 or 1 make sure it's in the 0 0.9 then you're gonna label the size to 1.8 and there you have it that's the wrist the bendable wrist yeah it's kind of smooth but this part yeah you know it's up to you now now let's import it to steve arm now click the hands by clicking the void here then add part as you can see there's a new add part then then let's make it right arm then add block click the right arm go to the texture steve new shape import the arm the texture editor move the pivot here in the bottom enable the snapping 
Click the art, the right arm, go to the move, gonna move it right here and click the hands. This is this is where it begins. Hide hide the shape, move the hands inside of the right arm. And after that, you're gonna move it here. And that's the hand wrist model. So as you can see, it's actually fine. Like if going to the preview, it's actually fine like this. It's like normal. Go to the modeling again. I forgot to turn on the turning on the z axis for the arm bend click the add part lower offset to negative four and there you go that's the steve model that's the arm then the wrist the hands inside of the hand there's a finger hands bend it like this there you go it's a wrist finger model go to the preview as, as you can see it's actually fine like when you rotate it light range it's fine so there there you have it that's how you make the hand wrist in this model and also huge shout out to scott scott cody i i've actually forgot his name but he's the one that uh you know i got this finger wrist model like i got inspired of his creation i got and i did re remodeling it and that's how you make a finger model so yeah that's how you make the finger model the arm model yeah so yeah thanks for watching guys and sorry for the prank that i made in my, in my last video so yeah make sure to subscribe like this video and share this tutorial to any my animator animators so yeah and that's all for today and thank you for watching goodbye